Hey, it's Jessica Oli here. I'm gonna bring you guys a 45 minute flow where you can roll out your mat, come flow with me, have fun with your practice, but most of all, just give back to your body for all that it does every day. Don't forget to subscribe to Ala Yoga's YouTube channel because there is so much more fun and awesome content coming your way. Before I get into my practice, I usually take some time to warm up my joints. Um, if it's a quick practice, I don't usually go through every single one, but for today's class, I'm gonna take you through my favorites. So go and extend your legs out in front, just like I'm doing, and you're gonna bring the right leg up. So bring the right leg up, you're gonna lift it towards your chest, and we're gonna start to draw circles. Good, so sitting as tall as you can, you're gonna pull the right leg into the body, and if you can, Bring the foot inside the crease of the elbow. The right hand comes over the leg and you're gonna sit up as tall as you can. This is called rock the baby. You're just gonna rock from right to left. Good. Once you've done that, you're gonna bring the right leg behind you into a half reclined hero. And if it is in your practice, you can lie all the way back or you can just stay here with me. As long as you're feeling a stretch throughout the hip flexor and no pain in the knee, you're free to explore as much of the pose as you want. So when you're ready, bring the leg out in front of you. You can just shake it out. Good, and bring the left leg up. So we're gonna do the same on this side to so start to draw your circles. Always sitting up as tall as you can. And when you're ready, give yourself a hug the yogi way. So many ways to give yourself a hug in a yoga pose and just rock from right to left. Good. So go ahead and bring that leg behind you into a half reclined here again. So whatever you did on the right side, try and replicate it on the left side. Your body's always gonna feel better on one side, but we're always trying to strive for balance. So try and replicate what you do on the right with the left. Just breathing. Good, bring that leg up. You're gonna cross your legs, so just come into a seated position. You're gonna inhale all the way up. And you're gonna exhale, twist over to the right side of the body, just waking up the spine gently. And come back into the center, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, create space. Good, inhale back into the center. So let's go ahead and warm into the wrist a little bit. You're gonna take your left hand, place it on the right wrist, make a fist, and you're just gonna gently compress the wrist by squeezing a little bit and draw your circles. And change direction. Good. And let's do the other side. And switch direction. Just maintaining a steady breath throughout of these postures is really important. Good. So come into a kneeling position. Your wrists stacked underneath your shoulders and your knees stacked underneath your hips. We're gonna gently warm into the wrists a little bit more. So you're gonna rock forwards and back. We'll do two times of each. Bring your wrists facing out. So fingertips facing out towards the side. You're gonna rock from right to left. Good. And let's follow the direction. So fingertips facing the thighs. And gently exhale as you lean back. Inhale. Exhale, good. Come all the way up onto, into a kneeling position. You're gonna bring your hands into a prayer and you're gonna have your right wrist on the mat and your left uh, hand on top of the right hand and you're gonna gently lean away from the joint. So you're leaning towards the left side. So you should be feeling a stretch throughout the front of side of the wrist and throughout the front side of the wrist on the other side. Good, and switch sides. Awesome.
Awesome. Just gently walking your hands out in front of you. You're going to push back into a child's pose. Let's inhale here and exhale all the way back. Just relax the neck. You can shake yes and no. Shake left to right. Good. From here, we're going to exhale, push back into downward dog. So however you need to do that, you're going to push back, exhale into the first downward dog of the day. So feet should be hip distance apart. Hamstrings pushing to the back side of the room. Elongating the spine as much as you can. So try not to round through the spine. You're going to really melt your chest towards the floor. Look for your belly button. Wrapping the triceps, which essentially means bringing the armpits facing towards each other and, and pulling your shoulders away from your ears. Let's tune into the breath a little bit while we're holding our downward dog. Adjust if you need to. So inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, hold, exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale, hold, exhale. Awesome. You're going to walk your feet towards your hands as slowly as you can. This is one of my favorite ways to warm into the hamstrings and sort of switch on the body. Awesome. So you're gonna meet me in a forward fold. Just settle into the first forward fold of the day. Notice how my knees are bent and just notice the connection between the top of my body, so my torso and my thighs. That engagement or that connection is really important in a forward fold. So rather than just touching your hands on the floor and rounding through the spine like this, try and lengthen through the spine and then fold. If that means you need to bend your knees, go ahead and do that like I'm doing. As you start to get warmer, you'll create more space and have more space to play with in your forward folds and postures. So we're going to inhale all the way up and exhale all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step into a plank. Let's warm up the core. So in your plank, you can drop to your knees if you need to. I want you to hold your plank and you're just going to gently rock forward. So you're going to inhale and exhale. Inhale. Notice how my hips are staying still. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale, downward dog. Inhale, bring your knees down onto the mat. We're going to go into our tabletop. And instead of cat and cow, we're going to work our way into what I call barrel rolls. So with barrel rolls, they kind of hit into the sides of the body, which you don't really get with just basic cat and cow. So in a barrel roll, you're going to hit the high point, each side of the body, and the low point. So you will have a cat and cow in there. We're just making it more of a dance and more of an expression and creative side of the practice. So go ahead and bring your hands out in front of you. So it's just stacking the joints again, making sure that everything's in line. It's going to feel a little silly at first, but this is just one of my favorite ways to work into the sides of the body as well as uh, the spine. So let's inhale all the way up and exhale round the spine. So you're going to start to work into your barrel rolls moving in one direction. Good, switch directions. Good. 
Good, and return to neutral when you're ready. Push back into a downward dog. Adjust if you need to. And we're going to work our way into our upward dog. So let's inhale all the way. And exhale. Downward dog. Inhale, upward dog. So shoulders back and down, lifting through the chest, activating through your inner thighs just to protect the lower back. So we never want to crunch the lower back. Hold it here a little longer. Drop the knees down and push back into a child's pose. Slide forwards, inhale all the way up. Exhale, push back. Good, so we're gonna extend the right leg toward the ceiling, inhale. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Inhale. Exhale, let's generate some heat throughout the core. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale. Exhale, hold. Hold it. Good. Release into pigeon. So pigeon, knee in line with the hip, lifting through the chest. And exhale, just settle into the posture. Good. Come all the way up. Inhale. Exhale, push back. Inhale, lift that left leg. Left knee to left elbow, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do one more, inhale. Exhale, hold. Hold it a little longer. Just breathe and release into pigeon. <sighs> Just settle into the pose and exhale when you're ready. All the way down. Just shake out the wrists if you need to. And push back into a downward dog. Exhale. So just go ahead and drop your knees. I'm just going to explain what we're going to do next. You're going to go into your downward dog. And um, we're going to play around with sort of downward dog rolls. <laughs> it sounds a little funny, but it feels really good in the back and the hamstring. So push back into your downward dog. We're going to shift into a plank, but you're going to round through the spine. So however you need to adjust, so you're going to shift forwards, round the spine, and then lift the hips and push back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So the hips are leading the movement. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. You're going to extend that left leg. Inhale. Towards the ceiling. And bring it through into a lunge. From your lunge, we're not going to stay here very long. You're going to plant that back foot down rotate the front foot so you're going to meet me in a wide-legged forward fold just breathing here so wide-legged forward fold is very similar to a normal forward fold essentially you're still trying to get that connection between the torso and the thighs this is just hitting more of the inner thighs than the front of the hips okay so just like a regular forward fold, we're always striving for that connection between the torso and the thighs. This, the difference between a wide-legged forward fold and a normal forward fold is that instead of hitting the back of the hamstrings, we're starting to work into the inner thighs, okay? So you're just gonna gently bend into the right leg and left leg. Just working out any kinks and observing how the body is feeling. Your body is so intelligent, it's always giving us feedback. And a lot of the time, we kind of ignore that. Um, and yoga sort of forces you to connect with your body on a much deeper level. So listen to what it's telling you. 
So let's inhale all the way up. Good, and exhale, hands to hips. So we're gonna inhale, lengthen through the chest. Exhale, fold, leading the movement with the chest. So moving nice and slow so you can observe how you're feeling. Listening to the feedback all the time. So the, the wider your feet are, the more intense the stretch you're gonna feel in the inner thighs. So what we're gonna do now is you're gonna sort of melt your chest towards your thighs as much as you can, using your hands as much or as little as you need. Trying to lengthen through the spine. So you can adjust as you start to open, just as I am. Good, let's inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold, hands come on the outside of the ankles and sort of pull yourself towards your body. And exhale. Let's inhale up. We're gonna come all the way down to the right side into Skandasana. So you're gonna come all the way down. It's like a ninja lunge. Some people might feel like their heels are coming up. As you start to get more open, that will disappear. You're gonna lift through the chest. You can point the toes if you want. I like to flex them. Good. You're gonna bring your butt down onto the mat. The leg is gonna come on the inside. Inhale, lift the chest. And exhale, fold. You're gonna inhale. Your right hand is gonna come on the outside of your right leg, so just sort of next to, and you're gonna push your hips forward. So your hips are gonna lead this movement and your chest is gonna lift as high as you can. So you're gonna swoop the hand over, you're gonna inhale, lift through the chest, and you're gonna exhale, kiss your knees, your knee. <laughs> inhale. And exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale, and exhale. Good, come all the way up. So we're gonna go back into our Skandasana lunge. So you're gonna use your hands, one on the outside, one on the inside to push yourself up, back into your wide-legged forward fold, and let's take it over to the left side. So you're gonna come into your lunge, Skandasana. Just lifting through the chest as much as you can. Good. Sit down when you're ready. Bring that leg on the inside. So let's inhale, create that length. And exhale, fold. So you're striving for that connection again here. If you're here, bend your knees or bend your knee and get that connection and start to straighten it out maintaining that bond. So left hand is gonna come on the outside of the left hip, and you're gonna push up just like we did on the other side. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Let's do one more, inhale. And exhale. Good, inhale all the way up. Bring your leg on the outside. Use your hands to push yourself up again. We're gonna be in our wide-legged forward fold. So we're gonna stay here for a little bit again. You're gonna inhale, lift through the chest. Exhale, fold. You're gonna walk your right hand over to your left side and you're gonna extend the left arm towards the ceiling in a nice little twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. Good, use the top hand, wrap around on the inside of the thigh and you're gonna bend into the opposite leg, same leg. Straighten that leg out, bring the arm up and bring it down back into your wide-legged forward fold, exhale. Left arm comes over to the right side. We're gonna go into that twist again. 
Exhale a little deeper. Bring the hand around, tuck it into the, the hip, and bend into the leg. Good, inhale. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, we're gonna go into lizard on each side. So the right leg is gonna come in front and you're gonna come into lizard on the right leg. Good, and switch. Awesome, let's do one more each side. So making sure you're just hitting all points of each pose. Good. So just meet me in a forward fold when you're ready. And we're gonna hang out here for just a minute. So just tune in with your breath again. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step into a plank. Exhale, inhale, exhale, push back into downward dog. So let's work our way into Wild Thing. Wild Thing's one of my favorite back bends or heart openers just to get the body warmed up. So you're gonna inhale into your plank. The right leg is gonna come up, bend it over the body, lift, lift the hips as high as you can, lifting through the chest. And release. So you're gonna move super, super slowly back into your plank and push back into downward dog. So just moving with control. Inhale into a plank, lift the left leg, bring it over the body, lift the hips, lift the chest. And release, make that transition as slow as you can again. Good, exhale. Inhale, drop the knees down. Awesome, so we're gonna work our way into camel. Camel is one of my favorite heart openers to add in. Um, I probably practice it every time I get on my mat. And it's just a great way to open up the back part of the body and the front part of the body. So you're gonna start off making sure your knees are in line with your hips. This is really important. This is where it's gonna stay, okay? So you wanna activate through the core again, so I don't wanna see this. So you wanna tuck in the tailbone, lifting through the chest. So go ahead and just grab your rib cage and you're gonna lift up. This just signifies a lifting of the chest, which is gonna take the pressure off of your lower back. So our lower backs are the most flexible part of the spine and therefore the most susceptible to injury. And we really just wanna take care of the lower spine, so no crunching or compressing of the spine, okay? So you're gonna lift through the chest, push the hips forwards, just keeping them in line with the hips. You can tuck your toes underneath if your back is still a little sticky. And you're gonna place your hands on your heels, just lifting through the chest. Relax your neck if it feels comfortable for you. And breathe. Slowly come up. And let's go ahead and counter pose, child's pose to bring your knees together. Just fold over and relax. Let's go again, so let's warm into it. I usually do my back bends in three, so this was the first one. Now I'm gonna do it with my feet flat, lifting through the chest, push the hips forwards, relaxing the neck, and finding my heels. Slowly come up, and exhale. Good, inhale all the way up. 
Let's do one more. So you can get a little fancy with this back bend if you're feeling up to it. I'm going to show you a variation that I love to include in my practice. So lifting through the chest, pushing your hips forwards, easing into it, and you can extend the arm over. And switch. And release. Slowly inhale up. And exhale, child's pose. Good. When you're ready, push back into downward dog. We're going to work our way into downward dog and upward dog a few times. So it's inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Inhale forwards into a plank. Come all the way down. We're going to go into scorpion stretch. So that's really good for decompressing the spine, releasing pressure in the back. Hands come out to the side. You can lift the right leg up and over the body to the left side of the body. And release. Left leg comes up, over to the right side. Exhale as you twist. And release. Just hold it here for a second, just breathing. We're going to start to walk into bow pose. So there's a few different ways you can do bow pose. I'm going to show you two ways I like to do it. You're going to grab the outside of the ankles. And holding here, you're going to activate the inner thighs immediately. So squeezing the knees towards each other. And the first thing you're going to do is lift the chest. So you see I go from here to here. Now all that's left is for me to kick into my hands. So I'm pushing my feet into my hands, and my hands are pulling my feet. So it's sort of like a counterbalance of forces creating this lift. So you're keeping your head in a neutral position, activating those inner thighs, protect the lower back, and breathing. It's okay to rock with the breath. And release. Take a child's pose if you need to. If you're okay, we're going to go into bow with a different grip. So you're going to do an inside grip. This is going to give you more of a chest stretch or a shoulder stretch. Um, so you're going to, exactly the same as before, same principle, activating through the inner thighs and lifting the chest. So once you've done that, kick into the hands and see the shape difference. And release. Awesome. Go ahead and counter pose however you feel like you need to. Good. So we're going to do one more bow. Whatever variation felt the best for you, you're going to go ahead and pick that one. So I really like the outside grip. So when you're ready, lift the chest, push the feet into the hands. Lift yourself and make yourself as tall as you can. And release. Good. Push back into a child's pose, keeping the knees together this time, just around throughout the spine. Slowly come up, clasp your hands behind your back, lift through your chest. 
and we're going to slide forwards into puppy pose. So puppy pose is really good for hitting the other parts of the spine, so the thoracic part of the spine, which is about here, your mid-back. You're going to have your hands out in front of you. You're going to, from here, you're going to lift through the chest and melt it towards the mat, looking in front of you and breathing. Adjust when you need to. Let's slide forwards into Sphinx. Good, inhale. So you're gonna grip the mat, you're gonna pull yourself. Imagine you're pulling yourself forwards. So your chest is gonna come forwards. Inhaling and melting the chest towards the floor as well. If it's accessible to you in your practice, you can straighten the arms. And release. We're going to push up and back into downward dog, however you feel like you need to. Just walk the dog for a second, pedaling each foot. Good, bring that right leg forwards into lizard. So the right leg comes on the outside of the hands and you're gonna bring that back knee down. So let's work our way into a deeper variation. I'm gonna give you a few options and you can take the one that feels good for you. So the first one is just to stay here, just breathing into the pose. The second option is to come down onto your forearms. And the third option is to bring that back leg up. Okay, you can open the front leg, so rolling onto the outside of the foot, if that feels good for you. Just really lifting through the chest. Whatever variation you're in, slowly come out and bring that leg to the center of the mat and you're gonna gently rock back into a half split. And you're gonna inhale forwards and exhale back. Notice this connection here. Inhale, exhale. Good. Inhale, lift that back knee up. Exhale, downward dog. Bring the left leg forwards into lizard. So whatever variation you did on the other side, try to do it on this side as well. So you can be here, lifting through the chest. You can be here. Or nice little lunge variation, the back leg up. Good. Bring that leg into the center again. So you're gonna come forwards, inhale, and exhale, push back into your half split. Inhale, and exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, lift that back knee up, and exhale, push back into your downward dog. Just pedal out the feet, whatever feels good for you. Good, we're gonna work our way into a little vinyasa just to shake everything out. Inhale into your plank, exhale, inhale up. Exhale, push back. Slowly walk your feet forwards into a forward fold.
and relax when you get there. Let's do a little passive forward fold. So go ahead and grab your elbow on each side and just hang as much as you can, bending the knees if you need to, soft knees. Good. Let's come all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart. So for the last part of the class, I want to take you guys through a little flow that's combined everything that we've done in the last 40 minutes. And you can sort of get creative, as, as creative as you want, or you can just stick with me. So let's start in mountain pose, activating through the core. Inhale, and exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, hop back into a plank, lower all the way down, inhale up, exhale, push back. Inhale, plank, right leg comes up and over into wild thing, inhale. Just breathing and release. Let's get a little fancy. Keep that right leg lifted. Bring it over to the other side into fallen triangle. Lift the hips. And release, push back into downward dog. Inhale into a plank. Lift that left leg up and over into wild thing. Lift the hips, lift the chest. Just breathing. Release, keep that leg lifted. Lifted, lifted. Bring it through into fallen triangle. And release. Push back into downward dog. Inhale into a plank, come all the way down. Grab the inside or the outside of your ankles. Inhale, lift. And release. Push back into child's pose. Inhale, come all the way up. So we're gonna go into camel, lift the chest, push the hips forwards. And inhale up. Push back. Inhale forwards, exhale back into downward dog. Left leg comes forward into a lunge. Rotate the feet so you're in a wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, exhale fold. Inhale, let's go over to the right side to Skandasana again. And left side. Right side. Good, and left side. Let's meet in the middle. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, lizard. Over to the left side, bring the knee down. Lift that back leg up. And bring the knee off the mat, back into your wide-legged forward fold, exhale. Inhale, lizard, bring that knee down, lift the back leg up. And release, just step into a forward fold when you're ready. Exhale. Come into your yogi squat, so feet mat width apart. Lifting through the chest, just breathing. Let's sit the butt down, bring the legs up and over into plow pose when you're ready. Roll the legs down. So you're gonna come into a cross-legged position and hop into a plank. 
Good. Adjust on the mat if you need to. Little vinyasa. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Push back. Bring the knees down onto the mat. Push back into child's pose. Just reset. Slowly inhale up. So when you're ready, go ahead and lie on your back in any position that feels comfortable for you. I think I'd prefer to do a handstand than to lie still. But there's a certain strength that you can find in stillness and calming the noise inside of your head. But most importantly, I think that this is the chance that you have at the end of your practice to reflect, to give thanks to your body for all that it allowed you to do today. We are lucky to be able to move our bodies in the way that we just did. So rather than focusing on maybe the things that you struggled with today, start to think about the things that you did well. And know that this is exactly where you are supposed to be in your practice, in your life, in every aspect. But also know that it's not where you'll stay. Bring your right leg into your chest and bring your left leg to meet the right leg. Bring your legs over to the right side into a nice little twist. So you're going to look over to the left side. Just exhale. Bring the knees into the chest and exhale over to the other side. Knees back into the center and just gently rock yourself up into a seated position. Inhale. And exhale, just settle down into the seated position. Let's just do one more inhale and exhale. So inhale. Hold. Exhale loudly through the mouth. And just one more for good luck. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Thank you for flowing with me today. I'll see you next time.